Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Fitbit Inspire. The steps are slightly different depending on whether you already have a Fitbit account or if you need to create a new one. If you already have a Fitbit account, check out the link in the description below. If you don't have a Fitbit account, open a web browser on your phone and type in the URL field fitbit.com slash setup. Type go. And it tells us to set up our Fitbit device, we need to install the free Fitbit app. So go to the App Store. This opens our App Store. And I have previously had the Fitbit app on my phone, so I have a little cloud with a downward arrow saying I can download it. So I'm going to tap there. Yours might say something different if you've never had the Fitbit app on your phone or you need to update it. So go ahead and tap there. Okay, just finished downloading and now I'm going to tap on open. So it's opening the Fitbit app, and again, if you already have a Fitbit account, you can tap Login, but I'm going to go ahead and tap Join Fitbit. So it's asking us which device we're setting up. Today we're setting up the Fitbit Inspire. It's not at the top of the list today, so I have to scroll down. And I found it, and I'll go ahead and tap on that. And yes, this is the Fitbit Inspire. Tap Setup. Okay, so you'll want to enter your first name, last name, an email, and a password. You'll want to agree to Fitbit's terms of service and decide whether you want to get their newsletter. Alright, once you've entered your information, go ahead and tap next. So now Fitbit's going to ask us for a few things to help customize our profile. So tap let's go. So now they're asking us what our birthday is. You can swipe to the left or right on each of these things to get your day, month, and year of birth. If you don't feel comfortable putting in your exact birthday, you don't have to, but I would recommend at least putting something plus or minus a year because a few of the estimations that Fitbit gives, like your total calories burned and your cardio fitness score, will be estimated based on your age. So go ahead and select your birthday and tap next. And now it's asking to enter your height. This will affect Estimations like your BMI and your stride length, so go ahead and put something close to your height and then tap next. And now it's asking for your gender, so this again will help estimate things like your calories burned, so go ahead and select which you are and tap next. And finally it asks for your weight, again this is an estimation because it will use this to do things like estimate your total calories burned for the day, so go ahead and slide to the left or right and click create account. Now you need to read Fitbit's terms and policies. So go ahead and read, scroll down to the bottom, and then tap I agree. And here Fitbit is letting you know that they recommend you charging your device throughout the setup process. I also recommend this, but I'm not going to do that because I would like to show you my screen while I'm doing the setup process. So go ahead and put your charger in as it shows, and tap next. Okay, so now it's searching, it has found my tracker, and now a set of four digits appears on my Inspire screen. So I need to enter those four digits onto the display. And your digits will be different and is now connecting to Fitbit. And I have a little check mark, so it's telling me that it has connected my phone to my Fitbit Inspire tracker. And now there is a firmware update that is required. So you need to keep your Fitbit Inspire close to your phone during this step. So let's go ahead and tap on Update Inspire. Okay, it shows us that it is in the connecting stage, and now it has started downloading the firmware update. As you can see here, I've blown out the background to show you that there is a little progress bar that is showing up on the display of the Fitbit Inspire, and that should tell you roughly how long it's going to take for the update to finish. So at this point in the setup process, you don't have to stay by your phone. You can use your phone as long as it's close to the Inspire. You can also check out 
some of the features of your Inspire, if you don't already know. You can track your activity. You can track your steps, distance, calories burned during the entire day. And it has auto exercise recognition. <laughs> I don't think this is right. Inspire does not have heart rate, so it does not have sleep stages. You can set a step goal, an active minutes goal, and a calorie burn goal. And you'll get reminders to move and some social features that come with any Fitbit including groups and friends. All right, so at 24%, I'm now finally getting a little white dot on the left side of my progress bar. Okay, the download has finished and it is now installing the firmware update. And it looks like the progress bar indicator is about half of the way through. Okay, so it took about 30 minutes, but our firmware update has been completed and our Inspire is ready. Let's go ahead and tap continue. All right, it says this is the moment your wrist has been waiting for. Wear your device loosely enough to slide up and down your wrists. During workout, secure the band so that it lays flat, two to three finger widths above your wrist bone. All right, tap next. Here it shows you how you can change out your band. You can change your band for the larger size or other colors or types of bands like metal bands. All right, go ahead and tap next. Okay, so now it's showing us that we can swipe up and down to reveal health stats and menu options. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to double tap. And this is the default clock face. And I can swipe up. Okay, that's swiping up. I see steps. Total calories burned for the day. So note here it says 1,077 calories and I I've obviously not even worn this thing because it wasn't set up before now. Just know that these calories are your total calories burned for the day, including the calories you burn just by being alive. And here we have the number of active minutes, our distance, our steps for this hour, part of our reminders to move and hourly activity. And that looks like it. Okay, so if I swipe up, I see what Fitbit calls basic apps on the Charge 3. So we have timers, alarms, and settings. And that's it. So if you tap on settings, we can clear user data or see device info. So there is no brightness adjustment or things like that. So to get away from this, we have to press the button and we can press it again and get back to our home screen. All right, go ahead and tap next. Okay, so this is just showing us again that if we tap on timer, then we have the option for stopwatch and countdown. And alarms. We can add alarms in the Fitbit mobile app. Okay. And then it says go back from anywhere on the menu by pressing the button. So kind of already told you that. Tap next. Press and hold button. Access your quick settings to see current battery life, notification settings, and more. Okay, so let's press and hold on our button. That was pretty quick, only a couple seconds needed. So it says my battery life is at 34%. My screen wake, I can tap on that to turn it on or off. So if it's grayed out, then the 
screen wake feature will be disabled. If it's white, it's enabled. I can turn notifications on or off. Oh, okay. And if you're getting the clip accessory, which is sold separately, you can define whether you're wearing the Fitbit Inspire on your wrist or in a clip. I assume that'll make things a little more accurate if you're wearing it in the clip. Okay, so press the button to go back and tap next. So here Fitbit gives us some wear and care tips. You should clean your band regularly and if it gets wet, dry it out completely. And tap next. Alright, we're all set. That has been the setup for the Fitbit Inspire. You can click to learn more about your Spire or go ahead and tap done. Alright, since I was just setting up my Fitbit app, it's asking if I want Fitbit to send me notifications. I'll go ahead and say allow. You can always change this later. And something you'll probably want to do right at the beginning is customize your clock face. So let's see what the clock face options are. So you can either tap on this image or go to your account settings and tap on Inspire and then tap Clock Faces. And here it's asking to pair with Bluetooth, so you have to say pair. Didn't connect because I guess it wasn't paired. I think it's okay now. So this is the current clock face. If I want to go to all clocks, I'll see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versions. So we have just the time, we have analog time, month and day of year, time, very small month, day and year, just in numbers, different time design, time with month and year, this is hard to see, but okay, so this one is time and steps. Then we have time offset with month and year and numbers. This one is just time in a digital looking retro theme. And here we can see our time with heart rate, total calories burned, and total distance for the day. So, yeah, if you want to change, all you have to do is tap and then tap select. And it will start transferring the new watch face and show you this progress bar. Progress bar in red and also on the display. The display just vibrates with a check mark in a circle. Looks like the app is not catching up, but the clock face has indeed been changed. Okay, is there anything else we should customize? My apps are alarm setting and timers. Looks like those are the only apps available. You can set up silent alarms, notifications, so by default, calls, text messages, and calendar events are enabled. And if I want to add individual app notifications, I have to turn them on individually. And as this is noted, at least for iOS, apps will be added to the list after they send you a notification to your phone since you've had this set up. Okay, you can change your reminders to move settings to start and end at a different time and um, if you prefer not to have them on weekends or other days, you can unselect those. You can change your main goal between steps, distance, calories burned, and active minutes. And I recommend keeping all day sync on, but you can turn it off if you really need to. And it looks like that's all you really need to customize. Alright, that was the setup process for the Fitbit Inspire. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a like by giving a thumbs up below. And consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos on wearable reviews, comparisons, and how-tos.
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.